Hey everyone and welcome to the Goss Gang YouTube channel. This is our first actual video up and we are going to explain exactly what the Goss Gang ecosystem is. And for anyone who is watching this, please like, subscribe to our new YouTube channel to get the latest updates on what's happening on Goss and the developments that's happening with the ecosystem. This channel is dedicated for anything that's happening within the Goss ecosystem, updates, AMAs, and all the latest developments that's happening. So if you want to know what's going on, this is the best place to do so. Also to follow us on Twitter and on Discord to talk with the community and also win prizes and contests that's always going on. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. What is Goss? Goss is a permission layer one blockchain to serve the evolving needs of any brands. As the world is constantly changing, Web3 and blockchain technology is the forefront of innovation. And Goss is leading that charge to allow a way for brands and businesses to safely utilize blockchain technology to interact with their audience in a whole new way. So what Goss is able to do is help brands create customizable tokenomics for tokenized assets and actually help them launch in the Goss ecosystem. So if you're a fan, supporter, or even an investor, you can interact with the brand at a much deeper level. And this haven't been done in crypto before. And what makes this layer one blockchain different from all the other ones that you see is that each token on the Goss blockchain would need to be vetted in order to launch. So that includes an audit, verified tokenomics by the team, and it's also going to be looked over by third party members. Now, the benefit of this is that there's only going to be one token in that blockchain. So there's not gonna be any duplicates, spam tokens, or any fake tokens where people are trying to scam you. Now, the whole purpose of Goss is to support and work with brands to launch utility tokens on the Goss blockchain. And this is going to empower brands to connect with their audience in a whole different manner. The Goss ecosystem is being launched to help change the global perspective of blockchain technology by addressing three major issues with the crypto sphere. And that's fraud, authentic engagements, and a lack of widespread token adoption. And I'll explain exactly how the Goss blockchain is going to do that. The whole blockchain is going to be powered by the gang token. This token has a maximum supply of 250 million and also an initial supply of 60 million at launch. The gang token is like what Matic is to the Polygon network or what BNB is to Binance network. The gang token is the gas and the center of it all. So you can buy and trade it and use it as gas. And there's also a benefit for people who are holding the tokens. You can actually earn a portion of the tax fees by just holding the token. And I'll explain that later down in the video. But if you look on the right section, you can see the tokenomics on how the token is being launched and how it is being distributed among the community. 55% goes to the community and liquidity, 30% is going to the company and treasury, and 50% of it is going to the core team members. And that is also being divided into different categories. Now, if you're wondering who is behind the Goss ecosystem, the Goss team is fully doxxed and you can find their information on their website. The founder and the CEO is Gary Paul Jr. And he is a military vet and he is an entrepreneur himself and he started his first business when he was 12. And he also has a 10 year background in the entertainment industry. If you're not in Discord yet, he is always in the chats and you can always come in here, talk to him, and he's a really nice guy to talk to. Patrick Rooney is our CFO. We got Austin McCall as our CTO and our lead dev. And last but not least, we have Lauren Williams, who is our chief science officer, and she has a really extensive background in data science. Now the team is always growing and you can always find all these people in our Discord as well. And this is our initial core team. So if you're watching this video at a different time, there might be a lot more people in the team. Now to understand why the Goss ecosystem exists, we have to understand the current problems with today's blockchains working with brands. If you have been in crypto for quite some time, or if you are new to joining crypto, security and fraud is a big problem. There are a lot of blockchains out there and pretty much anyone can launch their own token in that blockchain. And this is great for people who want to get into crypto or trying to create their own products. But at the same time, there are a lot of scammers that takes value away from the real token by launching a fake token under that same name. And with all these scam tokens out there, this really dilutes the experience for the end user. And authentic engagement is also a problem. A lot of brands or businesses entering into crypto don't really interact with their audience at a deeper level. And they usually use NFTs as a way to engage with their customers. And that's pretty much it. There's a hollow experience and there's also a lack of community. At the same time, brands and businesses trying to enter into crypto are going to have a hard time just because it's hard to find that in-house team and that support ecosystem. The bigger you are as a brand or as a business, there are a lot more steps and hoops that you need to go through to actually safely enter into crypto. Also creating a new in-house team comes with a lot of financial burden. At the same time, you need to find the right people that you can work with. That includes developers, strategists, economists, programmers, front end, back end developers. And the goals of Goss is to address those problems. The crypto ecosystem is a fast moving environment. And the bigger you are as a brand or as a business, 
the slower you are reacting to changes in the ecosystem. For example, in the middle of 2021, the DAO ecosystem was pretty prominent, which started off with Olympus and Time Wonderland. Everyone was making DAOs at one point just because that was the popular thing. However, at the end of the year, DAOs wasn't really working that well. And eventually everyone started loving them to hating them at the end. And you can imagine if brands were trying to get into that space during that time, it might be a pretty bad image for them. So the GOS solution for brands actually addresses all those problems. And the whole ecosystem is designed to help brands of all sizes engage in the crypto sphere without having to provide or create the in-house infrastructure. So with brands working with GOS, they can actually create a customizable token solution and they can use their own branded token for a wide variety of things. You can see here, they can use this for contests, e-commerce, fundraising. With GOS being able to create a layer one blockchain, they can vet the tokens. So the only tokens that can be launched are vetted and audited as well. So fake scam tokens or duplicates can be avoided, which really helps create a safe space environment for where brands can really be themselves and be authentic. By doing so, this helps to assure your audience that they're accessing the right branded tokens and that GOSS is providing an ecosystem that allows for brands to create incentive-based tokens with the security of the GOSS ecosystem. So for example, users don't have to sign up for different email listings or access a password to access their rewards because with the GOSS ecosystem, they can access all that stuff through the blockchain. You might be wondering what are some of the other use cases. If a company or brand comes to GOSS, they can create a customizable token to meet their needs. Maybe they want something like a reflection, an automatic redistribution system, or give rewards to holders at a certain time. They can do all of that. Contests and a giveaway are a big thing, or maybe they want their most loyal supporters to have special access to different events or even special tokens. Customer loyalty programs, revenue, revenue split and royalties. You can also allocate a portion of revenue to their charity of choice, a community DAO, voting, governance, escrow tokens, token vesting, platform integrations and tokenized event tickets. So say if there's a concert or an event space, holding one of their tokens can grant you access to that event. And again, these are some of the use cases of what GOSS can actually do. But honestly, the sky is the limit for this. For example, if brand X wants to launch a token in the ecosystem, they have a variety of options that they can make. So maybe they just want a token in the ecosystem and that can be just a basic token. And that token can be exchanged using the gang token. At the same time, they can make a tokenized ticketing system. Or if brand X wants to reward their most loyal followers, they can create a subscription or tier model. So that can look like tier based rewards based on the amount of tokens that you have. So with so many blockchains out there in the world currently, why are we having another blockchain? The whole idea of GOSS is to create a safer space for crypto. And by creating a curated layer one blockchain ecosystem, its hope is to provide a secure service that delivers a sense of surety for both the token creators and its users. But while other blockchains are meant to facilitate tokens or projects or to create an innovative system, the GOSS blockchain on the other hand is a blockchain for brands. This blockchain is being created with EVM compatibility. So what that means is that it can actually interact with all the other blockchains that are EVM compatible. Polygon. Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, and the list goes on. And eventually that barrier between each blockchain is going to slowly diminish, allowing each blockchain to have their own use cases. The GOSS ecosystem will be built just for brands and their audience. At the time of filming this video, we are currently in phase one. This is a really early start. And if you are an early supporter right now, thank you for joining. And if you are new here, welcome to the start of it all. If you want, you can pause the video and check out where the ecosystem is heading. At the time of releasing this video, this blockchain isn't actually live and we are expected to launch in Q4 of 2022. So how do I actually get in early or support the ecosystem? Well, currently something called the Feral Cards NFT have been launched and it is a way to buy in and support the early stages of GOSS. And this isn't just some regular NFT where you're just kind of buying it and holding it for no reason. There are a lot of benefits for people holding these NFTs because you guys are the early supporters of it. By holding a Feral Card NFT, you can actually get 500 gang tokens at the GOSS launch. This is for the iron tier NFTs and there are going to be other types of NFTs down the line. Not only that, but there's also whitelist opportunities for future NFTs and also exclusive whitelist to different projects that are launching in the GOSS ecosystem. And of course, different airdrops and different rewards. Again, there are only a limited amount of NFTs and this is a way for supporters to get in early and a way to be rewarded down the line. Now, if you are watching this, hopefully the NFTs are still available. But for the iron NFTs at the moment, they do cost $110 in Matic. If you are interested in buying an NFT, we will have a link in the description below and also instructions on how to actually get it. So there's actually going to be two different phases of GOSS. GOSS 1.0 will be launching in Q4 of 2022. And in GOSS 1.0, there's going to be reflections. Reflections are a way to reward the community as it grows. By holding the gang token, you can actually earn a portion of the tax 
fast speeds that's incorporated into the ecosystem. Using the reflection system is a means of research, and there's actually going to be a paper release on that research later down the road. The GOS 1.0 blockchain is going to be a permission EVM blockchain. What that actually means is that it's compatible with different EVM blockchains, again, such as Polygon, Ethereum, and it basically means that we can interact with other blockchains pretty seamlessly. The GOS blockchain will be based on proof of authority, which is a type of proof of stake. To give you an example of how quick the ecosystem can be, having three to five nodes can achieve you a speed of 8,000 TPS. At the same time, in GOS 1.0, there is going to be something called GOS swap, which is the swap decks in their system. And that is a place where you can trade buy and support different projects. At the same time, there's going to be an NFT marketplace built into it. And like any blockchain, there's going to be a blockchain explorer. Now the GOS 2.0 is going to be launched later down the line. And we don't really have a timeline for that just quite yet. And one of the major differences between GOS 1.0 and 2.0 is the fact that we're going to introduce the Omni pool. In most blockchains and liquidity pools, there is only a single stake asset. For example, if you're in the Ethereum network, and so let's say you're using a token called Curve, and let's say you're using the Curve token in order to have liquidity and to live in the Ethereum network, it is actually bridged to ETH. So it's going to be Curve ETH. A popular token in the Sphere ecosystem, Sphere, is paired to Sphere USD Plus or Sphere Wmatic. What an Omni pool does instead is that instead of being staked to a singular asset, it's staked within a pool of assets. So there's only one liquidity pool and different projects or brands that are added to it will be using that one singular pool, which is called the Omni pool. And there's many benefits using an Omni pool. So one of them is the fact that it can provide deep liquidity across the whole ecosystem. A new token coming into the ecosystem doesn't have to raise liquidity because there's liquidity already there. At the same time, it's going to improve swaps between any tokens within the Omni pool and it adds to the overall stability of the gas ecosystem. At the same time, it's going to be harder for liquidity to drain just because GOS is a layer one blockchain that's vetting its tokens. So no fake tokens or scam token can come in, drain the liquidity pool and then leave. Everything is curated and permissioned. So all right, guys, if you have any questions, please follow us on Twitter, Discord and all the other social platforms and be sure to check in the GOS game website. We're always active in the chat. So if you have any questions, you can always come in and talk to us. We are starting to host weekly AMAs where you can come in, ask your questions and we're going to answer them with the best of our abilities. At the time of the release of this video, the NFTs are still live, so be sure to check them out. We're going to be releasing a video in the future about how you can actually purchase the NFTs and also what you can expect further down the line. Just in case you haven't, please like, subscribe, and also comment about what you're excited to see in the ecosystem. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.